doing guys um this is key funny just gonna bring you this quick video and show you how to update your Moto G US model only for right now to KitKat 4.4.2 This is where you get to follow that XDA uh, Model G. Thanks to this guy right here. Appreciate it. The OTA file. Anyway, uh, there's the link I used to download it. It's real fast. And these other mirrors for it. But hey, once you download it, what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to name this update.zip. Now on my computer, I don't because I have WinWar set up. I don't have to put .zip. I just have to put the name. So that's why mine says update. You may have to put update .zip, or if you do put update .zip, make sure that it's just one .zip, not two. It will not install. Just two. Anyway, let's go back to the phone. So what you're gonna do now is that we have all the files. Uh, we have the file that we need put it on the root of your SD card you can turn the memory on the phone What you're gonna do is You're gonna get out of this and go to power off your device And once that's power off, I'm gonna come back now What you do to get a bootload on mode is you go right here and you use the volume down and the power button you're gonna press those at the same time you're going to hold that for at least five to six seconds and it will pop up to this screen right here and this is your bootloader your fast boot bootloader and what you're going to do to uh, be able to select the OTA is you use the volume down to make your selections and you use volume up right here to select it so you're going to go to recovery and right here, it's not booting to the stock recovery for me, mainly because I'm on 4.4.2 already. So I'm going to have to explain to you what to do from here. <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to boot up. And mine's going to show the Android guy flat on his face. Okay. But for you, because you're running 4.3, it will pop up the stock recovery. You're going to go scroll all the way down using the volume down and now you use the power button to make your selections. You're going to scroll all the way down to update on SD card. You're going to select that. Then you're going to go and select the update.zip file and it's going to start installing. And it's going to take about 5 or 10 minutes to install the OTA. The best thing I can tell you to do is to sit back and relax and let it do its thing. Um, any kind of errors will let you know. Um, the whole process should be all in the orange, weird yellowish orange text. And it should tell you install complete when everything is done. You're going to choose reboot device or reboot system. And it's going to reboot the system and boot up. And it's going to do this thing. It's going to build up catch and all that. It's going to restore all your apps that you have on your phone. And just sit back and let it relax. Another thing to note, please, please, please do not do this on a low battery. If you do this on a low battery and it dies on you, 9 out of 10, well, most likely, it's going to break. So you got to make sure that you're doing this on either a full charge or anything higher than 70% battery life. Um, just a quick little review. The phone does have some changes since being on KitKat. Um, if you go right here, swipe up, now you get to the camera faster. Just a quick little review. Let me go back. Um, get this to focus. There we go. It does seem a little bit snappier. Um, I don't know about battery life or anything. I just updated it. Uh, just made this video to show people how to update it. OTA. Uh, I got tired of waiting, and uh, thankfully, a uh, guy on XDA released the OTA, so I went ahead and updated it. And then you swipe down. 
Go to settings, get this to focus. All your menus now are in white. It looks cleaner, looks real nice on the phone. And we're gonna go to settings. So far, everything seems to be working. I haven't tried GPS or Bluetooth or anything like that as of now. I will make an in depth review later just to give you, um, just, just to show you what kind of changes uh, things were made right now. Uh, now you have printing. You know, so you can use, uh, I guess you can hook up a printer or a scanner or a fax machine and be able to send prints off to your phone. I mean, that's pretty good if you're uh, business-wise, but I don't personally see the need of using that. But everything works so far. I didn't have to uh, factory reset anything. I installed the OTA and it put all my apps and everything back in place. Uh, another thing to notice is when you get this phone, when you update the OTA, it automatically enables the developer options. Uh, it won't turn on developer mode, it just en enables it in the settings. Right here, you see 4.4.2. There you go. Kick cat. Alright guys, this is a quick little video showing you uh, how to do the OTA update and for now, please, please, please know that this is the US GSM model only. I don't know about the global models, it could break your phone, it may not break your phone. You could probably OTA it, but then I know you have to unlock the bootloader for one to be able to do it and then the radios wouldn't work anyway because the radios are totally different on this US GSM model than the global model. So for right now guys, this is US GSM only right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure check out XDA. I'm pretty sure I'll update this video. Links in below if there's a global uh, OTA file out for it. Um, but basically guys, that's it. Uh, we'll bring more videos on the Model, model G. And I'm loving the phone right now, so enjoy the Christmas. Peace.